slide number one. Now, this is an interesting shot of two little baby sons standing outside of their home somewhere in the Mekong Delta. We were taking a break and hauled up at that hooch and they were pretty cute kids so I thought I'd take a picture of them. Slide number two. This is a shot supposedly of a bunker being blown up in the distance. That little puff of smoke there is the bunker is what you can see of it. They yell fire in the hole and I pointed the camera in the direction and that and when I heard the explosion I took the picture. You don't see much of it though. Slide number three. These are GI's fellow squad members goofing off in the field. That fat one sitting on his knees, named Dwyer, is holding a sign which says to Dia, which we see here and there out in the field. It's put up by the VC, and the literal translation is land of death. And it means that there are booby traps in the area. And that other guy is another squad leader. I'm not squad leader, squad member, name of Espinoza, from El Paso, a Mexican from El Paso, whereas Dwyer is a uh, Irishman from Brooklyn. At last, on slide four, is that long-awaited life-size picture of me. <laughs> it's rather grotesque, actually. This was taken as I was leaping across the moat, which is what we do quite often. I'm not carrying my machine gun because I had already thrown that across the moat beforehand and then left and they took the picture as I was in midair. Slide number five, rather dark, is another picture of uh, Big Fat Dwyer, as we call him. He's really the clown of the squad, always mo making with the jokes and the wisecrack. I think behind him you can see a water buffalo or two looking at him with big eyes. Number six is a picture of more water buffalo, which are quite uh, plentiful in this area. They use them uh, to pull their plows to the fields and they ride them and I don't know, they might even eat them for all I know. Slide seven, this is uh, taken when we were out in the plain of reeds. I took it because on the horizon you could see smoke rising from where there had been an airstrike or something. I thought it might be rather interesting. Slide number eight. This is a picture of, uh, of one of the more elaborate houses you find out in the delta in the middle of the jungle. And a small little baby son out in front watching the GIs who were loading up on trucks at the time. Slide number nine. Uh, these three individuals are what we call Tiger Scouts. They are Vietnamese, former Viet Cong, who work with us, go out in the field and work as interpreters and, and such. And right now they're cutting up a duck, preparing to cook it. At that time, they just got it ready to start cooking when we had to move out and they had to leave it behind. And they were a little upset about that. Slide number 10 is a picture of a river and a sampan going down the river with Vietnamese civilians taking their wares to market, wearing the typical coolie hat. Slide number 11, picture of a couple more Vietnamese children, and that guy in the uniform there, that is a typical Arvin, the uh, army of South Vietnam, wearing shower thongs, which they usually wear. Slide number 12, uh, speaking of Arvin, this is the typical camp that the Arvin use. They call them Arvin compounds, and they're scattered all about the Delta. And one passes them and sees the Arvin sleeping and relaxing as we go out to hump out in the fields. Slide 13, Kai Lei. This is the view of uh, 
one of the streets and look even it even has uh, telephone poles that's how modern a city it is slide 14 more another view of Kyle this is around the center of Kyle and South Vietnamese have a the Arvin have a little compound there and you can see their vehicles there sort of tank like the vehicles that they have Slide number 15, another view of Kyle. Very interesting. See the motorcycles that many of them have and the buildings that are made of concrete and such. Slide 16. This is uh, what I call the Times Square of Kyle. It's the, most, the busiest area and has the most signs and advertisements. You can see that uh, Signed for toothpaste with a grinning, it looks like a soul brother to me, but I guess it's supposed to be Vietnamese. And there's this sign that says Muk Wa on there, 46. I think that's what, that must have been the place where we were stationed. I think 46 miles, 46, well, I don't know what it's kilometers, I guess, from there. Slide 17. <laughs> this is a Shell gas station in Mukwa, not in Mukwa, in uh, Kai Lai, South Vietnam. You can see those Volkswagen truck, Volkswagen bus there, and a Jeep there, and the gas pumps. Very interesting. Slide 18, once again Kai Lai. This is the Shell station at a, at a distance. You see motorcycles and more trucks and such. Slide 19, this is probably the oldest building that was in Kyle, a church or a temple or whatever they call it. It's kind of in disrepair. I think they were attempting to rebuild it. It's quite interesting. And uh, to conclude our slideshow, here is slide number 20, which is a view of uh, not far from Kyle, it actually is outside of Kyle, a rather modern building. You see these every once in a while buildings like these. I guess uh, very wealthy people live there or something because the great majority of the Vietnamese people do live in uh, huts made of uh, bamboo and other primitive things that I'm sure you've seen.